hello everyone welcome back in this video I am going to show you how we can work on the folder actions and the file actions let's start creating a new folder so for that just drag drop a whole create action here and just provide a folder path where you want to create a new folder so I want to create a new folder inside the board documents I want to create a test folder in that if you see there is no folder present with the name test now what we're going to create a new folder here okay now the folder is created now there is one more option here you see overwriting an existing folder so what this will going to do this will overwrite an existing folder so be careful with this option if any files present in that folder that will going to be deleted because this will going to overwrite the whole folder now once the folder is created I want to rename that folder so to rename that folder again you have to provide the folder path here and the name of the folder that you want to rename it so my folder name is test I want to rename it to test2 these are just a pretty simple actions here because we directly have to pass a folder names now if you see it is renamed to test2 let me change it back to test another is copy if you want to copy a uh, a specific folder to the specific lo location if you want to copy let's say we want to copy a folder from input to the output and you can use this option copy create we have already seen now what is this zip, zip will going to do zip will going to create a zip of this folder so if you provide a folder path here now here you can provide the extensions with the semicolons now if you see when I'm going to run the bot only txt files and xlsx files will going to be copied into the zip folder now where I want to create a zip this is the destination I have to provide so I'm going to create a zip folder here itself with the name test.zip so just be careful here you have to provide a folder name with the zip extension let me run the bot now for now there is no file present here so let it run for now okay so it has created a folder which is empty so what I will do I will create a file with the name one that I am create some txt file here and will create some excel file excel file let me create one doc also now the bot will going to copy one two and three because it have the extension txt and xlsx okay perfect these options are something where if you enable this that means the bot will going to update only those files which is which is placed newly into the folder into the original folder and this is something where it will going to delete our original files from the folder original files from the folder means this is my folder so it, th these are the files present these are the original files present here and this is the zip created here whenever the zip created the bot will going to delete these files from here so if I'm going to enable this let's see how it will work
okay it is completed now now if you see it has it has deleted those files which is moved to this zip folder these are the files it is moved right only txt and xlx files so these files get deleted automatically from the original folder unzip is something if you want to unzip a existing folder so let me delete this here from here this is my zip folder right so I am going to copy the full path here As extract to path I want the extraction to be happen here let me run it let me delete this for now this is not required because we are unzipping the folder now you see this is unzipped and these are three files present here so this is how you can unzip also any zip folder now let's move to the files once the folder is created let me first now delete these files from the folder okay if you want to create a specific file into the folder you can use this action now let me provide the folder path and then the file name uh, new.txt it will going to create it will going to create a new file with this txt extension for now the folder is empty Now you will see the file is created. A new file is created with txt extension. Okay, now let's see this option assign. This is the same option. If you want to override an existing file, you can override this by enabling this. Okay, now this option is also very helpful. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a file path here. Let me delete these variables for now. Okay. Now I'm going to store this particular path somewhere. So when I'm storing it into the variable, you see the automatically type is selected as file. Now let me create it. Now with the help of this file what I can do I can get the name of the file for that I will going to choose and this variable and then I will going to store it somewhere into the string string I will take it as a file name file name now I am passing this whole part you see storing into the file whose type is again file and then with the help of this action get name I am going to print a file name this option can be utilized when we have a file path and we want to extract only the file name from it there you can utilize this option a similar way you can rename the file if you want to rename a file you can rename it you can provide a file path and then new file path you can rename it and delete if you want to delete a file you can delete it so there are some of the 
important action that can be utilized at many places so once we start creating a use case we will going to utilize these options there are some more actions here again i am not covering all of them because i am going i am just covering those action which i am going to utilize in my use cases and again these are mostly and widely used going forward we are going to learn some more actions now for now we are good with these basic concepts of folder and files thanks for watching my video have a great day